This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at stable diffusion hype versus reality. So stable diffusion is a latent text to image diffusion model capable of generating photorealistic images given any text input. That's the claim, right? And this model has also been released as part of the diffusers, hugging face diffusers uh, package. And you can actually now implement this model in a uh, collab notebook and you can try with your own prompts. So let's go to our collab notebook. Okay, so for that you need to first install uh, certain libraries like diffusers, transformers and SkyPy as well as accelerate. Okay, so once you do this, you need to log in to Hugging Face Hub, right? For that you need to create a token, right? User access token and also you have to agree for, uh, you know, there is an agreement over here to use the stable diffusion pipeline to use this model. Okay, in a responsible way. So there is an agreement which you need to agree. So once you do all those things, you can actually now create an instance or a pipeline of this particular stable diffusion model. Okay, right, V1.5, this model you can create like this, right. And uh, this is a step where you are creating that pipeline. You are pushing the pipeline to your uh, GPU. For this you require a GPU runtime, right. And what they say over here is that with this uh, float 16, it runs faster. Okay. So now you can put a prompt. Okay. The prompt is a photo of an astronaut riding a horse on Mars and the image is generated from the prompt. Okay. You can send this prompt to this image, uh, to the pipeline basically and an image gets generated. Okay. So this is how the image looks like. Okay. So well and good. That is the expected image which you will see in the page as well. So now let's try out with some of our own prompts. For example, like a red rabbit on top of Mount Everest. So that is my prompt. This is the image which has been generated. Okay, to a certain extent, yeah, the background may look like Mount Everest and there is ice and there is a red rabbit over here. Well and good. Then I said, okay, what about an astronaut driving a red Ferrari on moon? Right. So here you see the images, you see these artifacts present over here. Probably if these were not present over here and you know, this car was a little bit more red over here, then it would, this would have been a perfect image, right? But then uh, certain things have gone for a toss over here. Okay. Then I said a drone shot of a forest near ice clad mountains. So this looks quite realistic. I like this picture. Okay, so there is this drone shot of this forest and because there are ice clad mountains, so probably there is some kind of snow on top, but I would have preferred uh, a background. So I wrote drone shot of a forest with ice clad mountains as background. Still, it is showing a similar image, slightly different image, right? Okay, so I wanted to see whether I can get a watercolor painting of a valley. This image is quite nice. Okay, then I said Obama addressing a press conference. Okay, so here is the image which got generated, obviously not good, right? So I said, okay, what if I increase the number of inference steps and I increase the number of inference steps to 100? You get a slightly better image, but it still struggles with hands and face, right? Over here also the struggle is there on the face, right? Generating the face. Then I said, okay, what if I increase the number of inference steps? So when I increase the number of inference steps, I got this crazy images. You have two Obamas over here, right? So the thing is that with what I see is that with this uh, image generations, there is actually no control on what kind of image is getting generated, right? So probably uh, it should not have generated two Obamas over here, right? Some sort of uh, things need to be put into the model to actually check that. Okay, you cannot have two Obamas present in a conference, right? Unless uh, Obama brings his duplicate to the conference. Right. So then I tried an astronaut driving a red Ferrari on moon, the same prompt, but I wanted to increase the number of inference steps to see if there is an improvement. And then I got this image, a totally different image, nowhere close to what I was expecting. I thought probably this image will get refined a little bit more. So the thing is that with every prompt, what I'm seeing is that it gets uh, kind of instantiated with a different image when it starts generating. Right. Uh, so if you look at these two images also again, you know, even if the prompt is same, 
there could be a lot of images in the database where Obama is really giving a press conference. So one of that could become a seed image and from that it can be generated. But here it doesn't happen like that. Okay. That's what I infer from looking at the kind of images which have been generated. Right. And here when I am giving another uh, again astronaut driving a red fire with 100 steps. See this is the kind of image uh, which I am getting. Right. So I said okay fine let me try some other image of a cat meditating in the midst of an island and this is the image which I got again there is trouble in generating of this cat over here okay a room with yellow light and a table this seems to be good which has been generated okay but I didn't expect you know this chair is not properly generated right over here there are some issues hmm? so then I said let me try something natural a king cobra on the grass uh, this can be easily retrieved from the database, but because this is a generational model, he tries to generate an image and it goes nowhere, literally nowhere, right? This is a totally spoiled up image. Maybe the texture of a king cobra, but no, this is not a proper this thing, right? So I said, oh, king cobra on the grass with the same expectation that it's not going to be generated properly. No, I got something. Right? Then I said a rainy evening in Bengaluru, I got some decent image over here. So then I said a sofa with texture of Rubik's cube, right? This image I kind of liked. So the thing is that, uh, you know, whether you like an image which has been generated from stable diffusion is subjective, right? Because based on our human perception, based on our imagination, our prompt could be something and the image which is generated may not be close to what we have imagined, right? It's very difficult for to generate an image based on our imagination. But what can be improved over here is some kind of control over the images whereby say you can have some kind of seed images and based on the seed images you can generate you know a better images that is stable diffusion image to image maybe i'll try that also by giving some seed images and seeing whether it works but uh, over here that is what i have seen based on the hype versus reality right the hype is like you get very good images but the reality is that these images uh, how good are these images is very subjective. You might get a good image generated. You might not get a good image generated. Okay. So over probably with a lot of training and more improvements, maybe this model will improve. So this is a short video on stable diffusion pipeline, basically stable diffusion model, hype versus reality. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.